Hey y'all, let's take a look at uh, nonlinear inequalities. Let's break that down. First off, an inequality is you know one of these where there is a not an equal sign, but a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to or less than or greater than or one of those two. Uh, nonlinear means that we will be dealing with shapes that are not lines, which there are some of these shapes are lines, but some of them aren't. And uh, let's go back and look at um, first uh, linear inequalities and let's take a look at a b and c and let's just draw this you should be able to at this point look at this and go okay i can draw that line the y-intercept is negative one the slope is negative a half which means it points down so i need to go one down two over one down two over and so on and the line that equals that is you know that's that's the line there it is okay all right now if we're doing this one y is greater than negative half minus one. Well, we indicate that by saying, well, first off, you know, we don't include the line itself. It's like the, uh, you know, the filled in line when you're graphing something on a number line. Uh, we wouldn't do that this time. It would just be dashes right across right here instead of that line. In fact, I can just go ahead and erase the line. And there you go. Okay, there you go. That's approximately the line. And what I would do is to, well, if it's greater than that, it's going to be everything above this. And conversely, if it were graphing this one, we would go everything less than that, and it wouldn't be this part. It would be down here. Okay. That's basically the same thing we're doing. And this is a super, super short and real simple lesson. And uh, let's look at the instructions very quickly. The line in parabola, of course, there's our parabola. Divide the coordinate system into four regions. Which region contains the coordinates of the points that satisfy the system of equalities? All that's a fancy way of saying which chunk A, B, C, or D satisfies both conditions. Okay, well, first off, we have Y is greater than negative uh, 1 half X minus 1. All right, well, uh, you know, greater than would be here, right? Everything above this entire part right here, and of course there's the line, you know, greater than that, and equal to that as well, because we have the equal sign as well. All right, let's go ahead and do the other color. Let's call it a red. Uh, in this case, y is greater than this parabola. Well, here's the parabola, right? Okay, well, I mean, you know, greater than the parabola is like everything here. So it doesn't, you know, go doesn't hit this area right there where B is, but it does hit everything else above the parabola. And well, you can see what, you know, there's the name of it. It's just, you know, coordinate A, the region A, whatever you want to call it. That's the one that satisfies both of those. Of course, the line itself satisfies, you know, A and B, but when, when it says, you know, both, there's only A that satisfies both of those. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Let's do another one. Which region contains the coordinates of the points that satisfy both inequalities? Okay, well, let's do the line first. It seems like the easiest thing. Y is less than negative X plus one. So we're doing this part right here, right? All the way, everything, yoink, less than is all the way down here, right? Okay, let's go ahead and do, we'll do green just to kind of contrast a little bit. We're going to go greater than or equal to this parabola. So the parabola and everything inside there is going to be everything here, right? Everything that we have inside the parabola. And it stays within the parabola, okay? Don't, don't go all the way out here with it. It just stays within the confines of that parabola and uh, including the line that uh, makes up the parabola. There. So anyhow, the region that satisfies, you can see pretty clearly that the region that satisfies all of that is this region basically from, you know, from here to here. All right, so it's less than and it is equal to, boom, there we go, okay. All right, okay, let's take another look, look at another one. Which region satisfies this system? Well, um, the line, this is a pretty easy line, y is greater than or equal to x. In other words, that's a one, that's a zero. So greater than or equal to will be everything, you know, here, including of course the line itself because it is equal to. So there's everything there, okay? The second part, we'll just make this lighter blue, and that'll be less than or equal to 16. Now just, just a very quick 
30-second lesson. The graph of an, an inequality or equation like this uh, will be a circle when you have an x squared and a y squared. Now, what, since there is no number at, at, next to the x um, or to the y, uh, your origin will be zero. There are other instances you're going to see in the future where it's something like this. Let's say is equal to 16. And this, this negative 3 and this positive 4 will shift where the circles are, I mean, excuse me, center starts out. So this number, however, is always the radius of the circle squared. So since there are no numbers attached to this, it's a 0, 0, which is where the center of the circle is. The radius of the circle is the square root of 16, which is 4, and we see 4 all the way around. This is the circle. If you were to graph this out, it would work perfectly. So, okay, so this graph will be everything inside of that circle. So here is that graph, everything inside the circle. Okay, so you can see that the region that satisfies both of these is the part right here. I didn't quite get that exactly right, but you know what I'm saying. So that's what satisfies both right there. That's what you would draw. Okay, all right. Take a look at your practice problem and let's uh, pause it and come back when you're finished. Okay, well, again, this is a basic line right at the origin since it's plus zero. So greater than or equal to means it is everything all the way up here, you know. Okay, everything there. This is a circle, and again, since it has no numbers by the x squared or the y squared, the center is the origin. It's greater than 9, which means it does not include, you know, that's why you have a dashed circle there. And of course, the square root of 9 is 3, which means the radius of the circle will be 3, and that's how we graph that. Okay, so we're doing this going to be greater than that, which means, let me get another color here, means your color, I mean, your, uh, your shading is going to be everything outside of this all the way, okay? And again, where those uh, intersect is this part right here. All right, like this, you know, like a, there we go. Okay, all right, and that's your answer, okay? See you guys next time, y'all take care.